Hello beautiful family, this is Percy. Today we're gonna talk about the Temple of the Sun or Kori Kancha. The Kori Kancha was the most impressive and important building within the city of Cusco. It has very fine walls, which was considered the maximum expression of the Incan culture. The architecture of the main wall that surrounds the great temple was decorated with integral gold sheets. The main temple was an impressive site because of its beauty and its decoration in devotion to many deities of the Inca era. The Incas put their maximum effort in the construction of this marvel of the ancient times. The name Coricanche comes from two Quechua words, Cori, which means gold, and Cancha, which means coral or patio. It would literally mean gold cart or temple dedicated to the sun god. According to the guardians of ancestral knowledge, the name could have been Korik Anchai, which means the temple that always shines. It was a sacred place in which the highest Incan god in the Sun Father was worshipped. It was also a place where the Wakas or gods of the cultures conquered by the Incas were guarded. A strategy to submit them to their regime and religion. Once could only enter the place fasting, barefoot and with a load on his back as a sign of humility and indicated by the highest priest, the Willah Uma. The frontis was a beautiful wall from the finest quarries of the Incan Empire, decorated by a continuous band of pure gold at the top of the wall. When the Spaniards arrived in Cusco, the first thing they noticed was the Incan temple, highly decorated with gold, silver, other precious and decorative stones. They were impressed by the wealth of Coricancha, and the Incan Empire were quick to take what was not theirs. Evidence of this looting still remains preserved in these walls. In the great temple of Coricancha, one could walk among the most important deities for the Incas. However, today we can only visit some of these temples. The temple of the rainbow, the lightning, the stars, the sun and the moon. The Spaniards built a temple and the convent of Santo Domingo over the original construction which suffered multiple mid of smaller and greater magnitudes due to the earthquakes that affected the buildings in 1650 and 1950. The convent has a very valuable art gallery with canvases from the 17th and the 16th centuries. Currently, we can differentiate the following areas within the Coricancha. The Temple of the Sun here was a representation of the god Wiracocha and some mummies of Incan rulers. The Temple of Mother Killer Moon The moon was considered to be the wife of the sun, so this temple was lined with silver planks, including a representation of the moon made in silver. Half of the temple was demolished by the Spaniards to build the nave of Santo Domingo Church. The temple of Illapa or Lightning. This temple was dedicated to the lightning and the thunder because in the ancient times the lightning was very sacred because once the lightning hits the ground it's because always a cosmic energy is arriving to this planet. The temple of Uichi or Rainbow. In this temple, the rainbow was worshipped, which, according to the ancient beliefs, represents a cosmic bridge. In Tipampa, this is the place where the Kurds, service personnel, dancers, and other states, while the Inca and the nobility moved to the Coricancha during festivities. The Solar Garden. It was a great deposit of offerings for the Sun God. Offerings brought by all the nations subdued and confederated by the Incas. 
the fountains. There were five fountains of water. The origin of the water was a secret cap. Some chroniclers claim that Chicha was poured into the fountain as an offering to the sun god. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it in all your social networks. See you soon!